welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If you are new to this channel, I have been teaching myself gymnastics for a few years now and on this channel I basically share tutorials with you or just share my tips on how you too can learn gymnastics at home. I have a lot of tutorials on my channel for all kinds of skills, but if you are completely new to gymnastics it might be difficult to know exactly what skills you should start with. Basically, today I'm going to talk about four skills that I think you should start by learning if you are wanting to get into gymnastics. In my opinion, these four skills are the most important to learn because they kind of cover all the basis of what you need to have as your foundation in gymnastics. Of course, there are so many more skills that are good to have, but I'm just going to be talking about these four today. But now let's just get into the video. So here are the four skills I think you should learn if you're wanting to start practicing gymnastics. So the very first skill that is great to start with is a handstand. It's a very good skill for just becoming more in tune with your own balance and it's also very easy to practice. And it's also great because once you have your handstand there are so many different type of handstands that you can practice as you're seeing right now. And when you're doing these different type of handstands it's also great for your coordination. The next skill that's going to give you a really good foundation for your gymnastics is a cartwheel. It really helps you get used to gymnastics and same thing as with the handstands, a cartwheel is something that you can evolve into different skills. As an example, something you can do with your cartwheel is work towards an aerial, which is what you're seeing in this video. An aerial is just basically a cartwheel without your hands, so once you've got your cartwheel you can almost immediately start to practice this much harder and kind of cooler skill. In gymnastics you use your back a lot, you need a lot of back flexibility, which is why this next skill is very good to have. And that skill is basically just being able to go into a bridge pose from a standing position. And this skill might just be one of the most important ones because first of all it focuses a lot on back flexibility, but it also gets you used to the feeling of jumping backwards, which is something you're gonna need to do if you for example want to work towards a back handspring. The ability to be able to jump backwards into a back handspring might be one of the scariest steps that you're going to take in gymnastics. You can't just jump straight into a back handspring on the first day of practicing gymnastics and that is why this skill is super helpful to get you into that feeling. And the last skill I'm going to talk about today is pretty similar to the cartwheel because it's a round off. Basically it's like a cartwheel but you land with your feet together. This skill is, as all the other ones, super helpful for building a foundation in your gymnastics. And this one is important because it's a more fast paced, more powerful skill than the previous ones. And as you can see, in the same clip that I used for the back handspring, I was doing a round off to transition into the back handspring. And this is something that's called connecting your skills. And the round off is great for connecting your skills. It's a skill that when used in connections can give you a lot of height when jumping into the next skill after it. For example, if you want to do a back handspring, it can make it actually easier to connect it with a round off first, even though that might feel a bit scarier, but the round off is going to give you so much height in the back handspring that doing the actual back handspring is going to feel a lot easier. And those were the four skills I wanted to talk about, so that was basically everything for this video. I really hope it helped you understand why I think these four skills are so important, and also I hope I inspired you to try to do some gymnastics. As I said in the beginning, I have a lot of tutorials on my channel, and if you want to check some of them out, I have a tutorials playlist. And if you watch this video, you might be specifically interested in some of these that I'll put up on the screen now. But I also have a lot more tutorials, such as the aerial and back handspring tutorial, if you're wanting to try some harder skills. But as my point was in this video, don't go immediately trying these two skills if you haven't practiced the first four already. But as I said, that was everything for this video, so I really hope you enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching!